Hi, my name is Kirsten Jones, and I want to take a minute today and show you about one of my all-time favorite Tupperware products. It's called Fridge Smart. Tupperware is going to tell you that it doubles the life of your produce in your home. I'm going to tell you that's the safe answer. I get triple, or, sorry, I get double, triple, even sometimes quadruple. Um, it, this stuff is kind of just amazing. So the um, Tupperware did a study, and they found that the average American household throws away about 60% of the produce that they buy, which it's kind of sickening actually, um, because what happens is you buy produce, right? You go to the store, we're gonna eat healthy. <laughs> you buy all this stuff and you come home and you're like, yeah, but not tonight, we're tired. So you put it in the produce drawer and then forget that tomorrow you're going to your niece's soccer game. And then the next day, maybe you work late. And then, uh, gosh, the next day you get invited to a candle party or something else, right? And then you maybe day four or five, you're like, oh, well, you know, we'll cook that. So you pull it out and you look at it and you go, I don't know, the edge is kind of, well, I'll cut that off and eat it later, which is actually code for, I'm going to put it back in the fridge, let it rot, and I'll feel less guilty later about throwing it away. So what you want to do is you want to get yourself some fridge smarts. We're going to solve that problem for you, okay? So how it works is your produce uh, breathes, and it breathes differently. You have heavy breathers, medium breathers, and low breathers. I know, a little creepy, but that's how it works. There's a cool little chart right here. The on it, it has an open circle, a closed circle, and a, and a half circle. Open circle is heavy breathing, closed circle is low breathing, and then half circle is medium breathing. There's a neat little trick that's not listed anywhere, it's only in my head, and that is if you take this lid and you make it so you can read the word Tupperware, and you line up so that when you are looking at this little chart, and you tilt it and you can read the word Tupperware, then this cool little slider up here, which is how you actually t regulate the air, lines up with this chart so you don't have to try to read that hard little thing right there. So if it's heavy breathing, this slider, you just slide it over to the heavy breathing side. If it's low breathing, it's the middle, so you move it to the middle. If it's medium breathing, you move it over to, to the medium side. So based on what you put in there, you breathe it appropriately. So for instance, broccoli is a heavy breather. It needs lots of air. So when you put it in a plastic bag and put it in the refrigerator, you're actually suffocating it. It's trying to breathe, which is why the bag gets all slimy and gross and it stinks and it's awful in the broccoli dies, right? And normally you get, what, eight, nine days out of broccoli? Um, I get now four and a half weeks out of broccoli in French Mark, which, that's crazy. If I have a month to eat broccoli, I got a shot at it, okay? Because <laughs> most people don't want to eat broccoli every day. I certainly don't want to. I eat it because I should eat it because my mom taught me to eat my broccoli, right? I just don't eat it every day. But if I've got a month, we got a good shot at it. Um, okay, so you know, you know how to breathe it. Then you open it up and on the inside, there's these cool little um, grits, and that keeps the fruits and vegetable, vegetables up out of their moisture. Because if fruits and vegetables sit in their moisture, they go bad, and you don't want them to go bad, obviously, right? So it's the combination of breathing, um, breathing appropriately, and the airflow goes in there just kind of perfectly, and they're not sitting in their moisture. That's what makes the produce last so much longer. We actually have a patent on these; they're that special. Um, they just, they're just amazing. Um, so that's how they work. Let me go through the sizes with you. Um, there's a, there, you can buy these individually or you can buy them as a set. Whenever Tupperware puts things together as a set, there's usually a discounted price. This is the four piece that we have currently. And this is the small deep right here. The small deep is really good for, um, gosh, it's tall, but you know, still kind of small. So you can put peppers in there. Peppers stay crisp. The edge doesn't get all um, You can put, uh, let's see what else do I put in there. Grapes. You can put a pint of strawberries. I get about two and a half weeks out of strawberries, which I think is amazing because it what, two days maybe at the grocery store. That also, other little trick is by taking it out of one container and putting it into the other container of the strawberries, it allows you to discard the one rotten strawberry that there is always in that container. I don't know why that is if you think about it. Um, but anyway, um, strawberries, um, let's see what else would I put in here. Grapes, strawberries, um, asparagus, you can kind of sit at an angle in here. If you cut up cauliflower or broccoli from the store, you can put it in here. Um, gosh, anything that's about this size, it works perfect. Oh, like honeydew and cantaloupe and things like that. The slices fit in here perfectly. Um, gosh, then you have um, the medium size, which is right here. And it's for things that are not as tall, but, um, but longer. So like green onions or cilantro. Um, cilantro comes in a bunch usually. So if, you, if it, anything comes in a bunch, unwind it and spread it out. Otherwise, what happens is moisture gets trapped in that bunch and it starts to rot in that bunch. But if you spread it out, I usually get about two and a half weeks out of cilantro, which is another miracle because cilantro, before, if I didn't use it the night I brought it home from the store, it was it was starting to get black and slimy the next day, which is gross. So cilantro lasts amazing in here. Um, let's see, carrots. Um, 
baby carrots don't get slimy in these containers. And that's another awesome thing. Cucumbers, if they're not super tall, will fit in here perfectly. Oh, baby cucumbers fit in here really well. Um, gosh, what else do I put in here? Parsnips, anything that's just, like I said, long and you know not super um, longer. Asparagus fits in here as well. And then the deeper one, um, this is gonna hold like your lettuce. From the, if you put a big lettuce, head of lettuce, or if you buy hearts of romaine, you can usually get three, sometimes four, but it's usually more like three in here at a time. Um, the If you buy the cost, at Costco the big, huge bag of broccoli, which is like $4, which is a great deal, but Costco is only a great deal if you eat it. If you buy a big bag of, of something and you just throw it all away, it's not a good deal, you just throw it away, right? I can get that whole bag in here. I sometimes have to cut them up a little bit more just because Sometimes their florets are big, but I can get the whole bag in here and we get four and a half weeks out of broccoli. So that's a dollar a week. I mean, seriously, a dollar a week, you can do it. Um, so, oh, the other thing I do with this in the summertime is I'll take watermelon and I'll cube it. And then when I go to eat, I like watermelon, but it has to be crisp and crunchy and I like to just snack on the squares, it has to be cold. So I'll put it in the fridge, I'll cut it up put it in the fridge, and then when I pull it out of the fridge, I'll just take the corner and pour the juice out, um, and then so that it doesn't get, I don't want it to be mushy, it can't be mushy. And the grids, all of the juice goes to the bottom of it, keeps the watermelon up out of the grids, it's awesome. And then I'll just take, um, I'll just take the, a fork and just snack on squares and eat them, and then put the lid back on, and the next time I pull it out, I'll just pour the juice out again, and then I'll eat them, and it's amazing. It's the best way to eat watermelon ever. Um, Let's see, what else do I put in here? Um, any kind of fruit really can go in here. Anything in bigger quantities, but medium deep is really good for that size. So this is the four piece set as it is right now. Um, it's Like I said, it's usually a little better deal from Tupperware if you buy it as a set, but you can buy all the pieces individually. You can host a party. When you host a party, you earn free Tupperware and you also earn half price Tupperware. You can half price items or sets. So a lot of my hosts will buy choppers and fun things that they want with their free dollars and then they'll use their half price items to get at least one set, sometimes They'll take two half price items and get two sets. Um, uh, you can do however you want to do it, but um, but certainly you need at least one set in your life. I will tell you, buy one set, you'll come back to me and buy more pieces. Everybody does because one set's not quite enough. And why is that? Well, normally when you put things in your fridge, they rot and they go through them quickly and you think, oh, I don't have that much produce in my fridge at any one time. The thing is, is when your broccoli lasts a month, it's using this whole container for an entire month, right? Now you don't have anything to put your lettuce in. When you have strawberries in here for two and a half weeks, now you don't have anything to put your blueberries in. When you have um, grapes in this one, now you don't have anything to put your asparagus in. So I, one full set isn't enough. Um, usually two is probably a little bit closer. Everybody buys their produce a little differently. So I mean, you can buy one set, start playing with it, and then come back and buy another. But um, everybody should have these. And then the last size I want to show you is the small. He's this little guy right here. He doesn't come in the set. You buy them individually, but you're going to need two or three, maybe four of this one. It's just a really good size. Um, I have, um, it'll hold four or five Roma tomatoes, depending on how big they are. My oldest son eats kumquats, they fit in there perfectly. Jalapeno peppers, mushrooms, if you buy berries at the store, smaller amounts of berries, or if you cut up things like carrot sticks or celery and you want to keep them fresh for your kids to eat or for you to snack on, um, this is just a really, really good, good size. Um, and you're, like I said, you're going to need several of these. These stack them nicely. What I did in my fridge is I removed the produce drawer because the produce drawer has this cool little vent and you go, yeah, but my vent, yeah, so does, me, so does mine. I have this very expensive fridge with this cool little vent. The problem is you don't know what to vent yours, so you just pick somewhere in the middle and go, yeah, that, right? And then you throw all your produce in there, in bags, so they're all suffocating, mind you, right? And you have heavy and low breathing stuff in there, right? So, and then what happens is it goes in the, the produce drawer and then you forget about it because you can't see it because what you can't see, you forget about and then you don't eat. Then it rots, so it kind of becomes the rotting drawer, not the produce drawer. So what I did is I took that drawer out, and when I took it out, it created a shelf of space. And then I took these and stacked them nicely in the space. They didn't even use up the whole amount of space. I actually had extra space. My fridge looks beautiful. It looks totally organized. When my friends come over, they say, oh, you're, you're so organized. Yeah, I'm not, but those look really nice and organized. Um, um, it makes it look organized, and, um, and then I don't, I see my, so when I open up the fridge, I see carrots and I go, I should make something with carrots or I see broccoli and I go, I should make something with broccoli because it's there, it's in front of me, it's not rotten and, and I can see it. And if by chance something does rot, all you have to do is take the lid off, walk over the garbage can, bang, 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 stick it in the dishwasher, run it through and pull it back out and start over again. By the way, my, my last little tip for you is don't put these in the cupboard ever. Take them clean out of the dishwasher and put them back in the refrigerator. Make, keep them there until you come home from the store with more produce. If you put them in your cupboard, you'll forget to use them, and then your produce starts rotting.
because you go, you get in a hurry and you go, oh, I'll do it tomorrow and then tomorrow never comes. So wash them, use them and put them back in the refrigerator and just let them, because if you open up your fridge and you've got a bag of something and the container is staring at you, you'll open the container and put it in there. Okay? So once again, my name is Kirsten. I'm with Tupperware. This is Fridge Smart. You definitely need this in your home. And please feel free to share this with your friends as well. If you have any friends that are dieting or trying to eat healthy or trying to eat more produce, this, this solves an American problem and I feel like everybody needs to know about it. So please help me spread the word, spread the love, spread the Tupperware love. <laughs> have a great afternoon.